Welcome back to the presentation on classical geometric construction of whole number angles in general. My name is Kimwe Alex from Mary University of Science and Technology. In this video, I'll be showing how to construct an angle of magnitude 70 degrees. Right away, I go to the GeoGebra software and uh, prepare these uh, tools for use in the construction. I would like to begin by having my two points in a place to give me the baseline and these are the tools I'm picking to help me perform the construction that way was like this so straight away start the construction by creating the baseline or constructing the baseline between the two points I can start by having the points A that it may be going to be here so I use this tool to join the points A and B as you show now using the compass tool, I want to create a point C that's equidistant between the two points A and B. And this is how I'm going to generate my point C. I have it as the point of intersection between the two, the initial circle and the second circle. So that's the point C. I'm required to join the point C to point B using a straight line. Further, I do the bisection with the cow, sorry, the code CB. And to do that, I'm going to use this tool to help me divide the chord BC into two, simply because a bisection of the line will always pass through the point A. In this case, it's becoming the center of our construction. Now, I use the labeling tool to label these points of intersection between the bisector and this chord as point D, and between the bisector and this curve as point E. I'm interested in any of these two angles, but I'll choose this. EDB for the next constructions. Now, I do bisection of the angle EDB to give me a point F, and that is the point of intersection between the bisector and the curve BE. I'll go further and perform some bisection of the angle EDF to give me another point G, and I'll do some zoom in or magnification so that I can la uh, accurately label this point as point G that way. When I zoom out, I get my figure back and I can move the figure slightly inside so that I can perform some other ty ty um, I mean operations on this figure to help me reach to 70 degrees. Now we have the nested tools. We have the code DG and code df starting with df and sorry and point e as the center i'm going to create to make an arc that cuts the curve you see at a point h for that i would like to change the color of that curve into that green now i use the labeling tool to label this point as point h Again, using the compass tool, I pick the distance, dg, and with h as my center, I want to make an arc that cuts the curve eh at a point i. Before I go to the i, I like to change the appearance of this into that. And then I can zoom in the figure that I can correctly label or accurately label the point i. After zooming in, I come here and pick the labeling tool, and I place my point i here. That I have it. Now I again zoom in that way. I want to create 10 degrees as we have created in when, when showing how to construct 10 degrees in the previous video. So I'm going to bisect the angle I, since you know it's a value now, to give me another angle there. And before I label the angle JAB, I want to change the color of that into that. So I use the labeling tool to make a point J here. Angle J, AB should be 16 degrees. So I'll perform some more bisection of that angle to get eight. Now with my labeling tool, I come and label this one as point K, that. I'll use the compass tool again to carry the distance or the code BK. And using the point C as the center, I place it there. And the initial thing would be changing the appearance of that into that. 
now I got an arc, I got an arc cutting the curve CH at a point L. I'll do small uh, or resizing of the figure and move it this way that I can do some geometric uh, transformation. I want to use this tool to reflect the point B about point A that I get a point B prime and come back to this toolbox to get this line perpendicular by sector. I want to draw a perpendicular between the two points A, B. I can use the perpendicular, this tool, the perpendicular line between that or through that point or I can use this other tool to bisect. I mean to draw a line, a perpendicular line between the two points through point A, between B prime and B point B itself, then through point A. And try get that line at 90 degrees. Now I'll change the appearance of this line into a different line. I can pick that color clarity. And I got it. I'll then use the labeling tool to label this point as point M. Now again I come to pick the compass tool and use the distance L I which subtends 20 degrees. If I cut, I make an arc that cuts the curve mc at a point m i should have gotten my 70 degrees change again that color into that so here i label this point of intersection between this curve and the arc as point n i'll use again a straight line to join n to a if i measure the angle using the ANCO measure tool. If I measure the ANCO A, sorry, N A B, I should be having 70 degrees. If I need 75, I could better, I would go ahead and bisect N A B. I'll get, sorry, 35, not 75. If I bisect this, I get 35. The corresponding ANCO here, N A B prime, should be 110 degrees. That's it, and people have been finding a lot of problems in bisecting these ANCOs. Um, I can, uh, increase or magnify the accuracy to four decimal places and I'm getting 70.0015 here is 109.998 this is the best accuracy ever no one has switched this and it is sunny and we go back to two decimal places because actually this is conventional we get n course in two decimal places as we use the value of pi into three decimal places it's agreeable and the problem is worked out if I need 55, I'll create 70, that's one of the of, of the ways, and then divide this 110 to 2, I get 55. Alternatively, there are other ways of creating 55. 55 is um, 90 minus 35. I bisect 35, I mean 70, get 35, and subtract 35 from 90, I get my 55. I can also have 30 plus 25, get 55. Simple as that. There are so many ways of playing with these two codes generated using Alex's uh, theorem. So let's start with the construction of 70 and 110. In the next video, I'm going to show how to construct angles of 40 degrees and 140. Thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe.